make sure you take notice that, you know, I like gardening and it's one of my superpowers. <coughs> Hi, it's Carol from Gardeners by Trade. How are you going? Today we're going to talk about composting. We like to compost all our stuff. Talking of like, how about you give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and if you've got any questions, hit us up and we'll answer them the best we can. All right, so just a brief one on composting and what we do and the good and the bad. We've got our upstairs and downstairs. So our kitchen is upstairs. So we have our little bin that we put all our composting stuff in. Our compost bin is downstairs, but outside in the garden. So it's just a lot easier than having, you know, it's hard to throw it off the back and get it into the bin. All right, so here's what we've got. Let me just put on a, a glove because even though it's for composting and it's food scraps, it gets a bit skanky. All right, so we have a variety of stuff in ours. We have, let me get some out onto the newspaper here. Just so you know, another good thing you can do is when you do all your peelings and stuff like that, just do it into newspaper and throw the lot into your bin. So the newspaper won't harm it, just don't use anything glossy. So obviously we've got in there banana skins, some carrot ends, We've had strawberries this week, so you've got the strawberry tops and a little bit off them. Some pumpkin skin. So it's just your general tea bags. Um, seeds off the pumpkin, they're fine, they all break down. Some eggshells, they're really good, they add calcium to your compost. Let me have a scrounge through. Bit of broccoli, clearly we didn't want to eat that. Um, that's most of it. So. We've got a lot of like peelings, cutoffs and stuff like that. We give the veggies to the dogs as well as we eat them. So if I peel a carrot or anything, I just peel it straight into the bin. It takes me about a week, depending on what I've been cooking and how busy the week's been on our food, to fill up a bin. All right, so some of the things that aren't food scraps that can go into your composting bin are coffee grains or coffee granules, grass clippings, leaves, they break down a bit slower. Uh, plant matter as long as it's not too woody, soil um, and dog hair or cat hair or human hair which is fine and weeds as long as they're not perennial you don't want anything that's going to seed. All right so we got this idea of the bucket from my mother. Um, she used to put all her kitchen waste in here. She'd dig a hole in the yard. Oh, she was ahead of her time. She was well ahead of her time um, and she'd only bury it between maybe an inch or two of soil, but that was it. It wasn't about composting. It was just putting all of the kitchen waste into the ground and it did it no harm. So I definitely recommend if you just don't want to compost, that's what you do. We want to compost now and start feeding our plants and soil. Alrighty, things rec not recommended to put into the compost, citrus and onion, because they'll affect worms. They'll stop worms thriving in your compost and kill them. Um, and we want worms. Uh, the other things is cat and dog poo, definitely don't put them in. And any byproducts from the kitchen like oils, fats, dairy, meat, anything like that would tend to bring rats to it and it's no good for your composting bin. No one wants rats. So, but yeah, keep it natural and you'll get a good little crop and a nice little um, compost and life will be good for your plants. Alrighty. Uh, with our bucket, it's an old rice bucket. I think we found it when we moved in because mum used to put her scraps in it. So it was a perfect thing. It's a good size for us and it comes with a lid. So it seals it, keeps everything in so you don't get a sort of a manky smell in the kitchen. Doesn't attract flies or ants or anything like that, which I'd recommend you can get something like that. I'm sure everyone's got something at home, even an old ice cream container or something like that would suffice. So the bigger the bucket, the better less chance of having to empty it all the time but this is perfect for a week or two. Sweet well thanks for watching our uh, video on composting and how we do it um, and if you like our channel give us a thumbs up and like it. Uh, make sure you subscribe and if you've got any questions we're more than happy to answer them. So I hope you have a good day and get out into the garden and start your own little composting. Thanks a lot. See ya.